HBAR, HBAR against BTC, Hedera hash graph. Yep, it's not looking good for HBAR. HBAR BTC is, we, you know, we've, we've been uh, anticipating uh, the completion of a possible head and shoulders, right? Left shoulder, head. And we're coming down, feels to me like, you know, a right shoulder that is about to complete. And after that, yeah, you can see a slice down much, much lower for HBAR against BTC. Things just aren't really looking that good. There's a very flat support over here, which I anticipate uh, yeah, it to be taken out eventually. So HBAR is... It's just not looking good. It's just not looking good. Um, and so, yeah, here we are. Here we freaking are. Um, and I think that once we complete it, we will probably get a target probably by, I don't know, by February or by March, we should be able to see uh, more maturity, right? In the sense that I think HBAR is really like 80% complete, right? Uh, after a few more weeks, we get 90% and then pump. We collapse even lower for HBAR uh, and it's not gonna be pretty. It's, it's, it's gonna be brutal uh, if and when we fall, right? The noisy area is over here. So we will be anticipating the possibility of us dropping to sub 300 Satoshis. We're at 500 right now. So be careful, be careful, be careful. Um, HBAR against USDT. Yeah, feels to me like. <laughs> ah, potential head and shoulders. And then we head lower, right? It is not good. It's not good, ladies and gentlemen. So. More downsides expected for HBAR against USDT. We are already under the skinny pink line, so we're already biased bearish for HBAR against USDT. We will be watching out for bearish chart patterns. Uh, feels to me like already a you know, complete mountain. Are we gonna get mountain two and three and then we hit lower? Yeah, potentially. So be careful about going to a trade too soon for HBAR.